Hello friends, today we're discussing about Marx's theory of alienation. So, theory of alienation is one of the important theories uh, given to Marx in his uh, in his works, the, the Communist Manifesto and Das Kapital. So, in his theory of alienation, Marx tries to prove that this capitalist society uh, devoids or uh, deprives the working class or the poor class of his basic uh, human uh, nature and the basic uh, gifts endowed by nature to him. So Marx divides uh, his theory of alienation into three parts. That is, number one, the theory of uh, alienation from his common uh, from his common nature, or the theory of alienation from his fellow human beings. So uh, Marx explains in this theory uh, this point uh, by the fact that uh, to uh, get a, uh, get a meaningful wage or to get uh, uh, to survive his uh, to, su- to survive in this materialistic uh, world. A labor has to uh, work under the capitalist class, which is uh, exploitative in nature. So the capitalist class always is concerned about its uh, own uh, own uh, benefit. is is concerned about generating capital more and more. And uh, in this way, the poor laborers are unfortunately are bound to work under the capital under capitalists uh, because uh, they don't have the means or resources to generate their own capital. So they have to work under the capitalists or the bourgeois class uh, in lieu of uh, a salary or wages. And the salary or wages is uh, highly competitive in the market. So his, so laborers or the working class have to compete with his fellow human beings to get the job under the capitalist. And uh, to, they compete for wages. And this creates a animosity or ill feeling between his fe- fellow human beings uh, it creates a feeling of competition which is quite contradictory of what nature has endowed uh, Marx believes that nature endowed men to work together in a cooperative feeling a cooperative spirit and uh, this cooperative spirit if it's nurtured then it can generate more output than what uh, is generated uh, by working under uh, the capitalist for a few uh, f- mere uh, pittance or a f- few very less uh, amount of wages so this was about uh, alienation from his fellow workers uh, the secondly Marx talks about alienation from his own labor the or the output of his own labor so Marx always says that uh, the labor always produces surplus capital and this surplus is not enjoyed by the laborers who are the main producers of the surplus but it is amassed or it is uh, captured by the capitalist classes who merely uh, remain a mute spectator and uh, they exploit the laborers uh, and they exploit the laborers surplus uh, output uh, to uh, generate their capital or to amass more capital so in this way the capitalist or the bourgeois class becomes more and more rich and the poor or the proletariat classes uh, become more day by day more and more poorer so the poor worker worker is uh, devoid or is uh, denied the output of his own uh, hard work so this is the second kind of alienation that is alienation from the output of his own labor which marx talks about in his theory of alienation now sec- third the, uh, the next uh, important uh, uh, th- uh, point of alienation is the alienation from uh, creativity or his own creative uh, forces and uh, the capitalist uh, working system the laborers or the poor class have to work under the dictates of the proletariat or sorry of the uh, bourgeois class and this uh, bourgeois class always uh, makes the proletariat or the working class uh, people to work on their own uh, whims and fancies the poor laborers are not allowed to work on their own creativity they have to produce the goods and they have to work under the conditions as uh, dictated by the bourgeois class as dictated by, dictated by the capitalists they have to work under their condition as a result the poor laborers although they have creativity to produce goods in their own way to produce goods in a creative way to produce to use the intellect to produce uh, in uh, producing in producing material from the nature but they are not allowed to do so under the whims and fences of the capitalist class so these were the three uh, f- cheap uh, for
theories chief factors of alienation marx uh, discussed in his uh, theory of alienation that is the- uh, alienation from his fellow human beings that is alienation from the output of his labor and alienation from his own creativity or using his own intellect while working or while generating output uh, by the poor working class or the proletariat class so this was uh, in brief the theory of alienation of marx the next other theories of marx will you will be discussing in our subsequent videos so do like and subscribe and see you in in our next video thanks thanks for watching and see you bye bye